Hey yo, E King Fight News. Y'all know what it is, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get it. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Two guys who uh, have definitely made a name for himself in the heavyweight division. And they look like they're going to be fighting each other next. More on this, guys. E King Fight News. All right. So, Tyson Fury. Um, has it had come out after the failed negotiations between Wilder and, and Anthony Joshua and basically said, you know what? Knock on my door, Wilder, and I ain't no bitch, man. You want to make a fight happen? Perhaps we can get it on. You know, that's, that's basically kind of what Tyson Fury was saying, if I had to paraphrase. He seems genuinely interested in fighting Deontay Wilder as a former champion. He's still the kind of guy that wants to prove himself against the best fighters in the world. And much respect to Tyson Fury if he's being genuine. Because um, I think that would be a great fight to have next. If, if it's not going to be Anthony Joshua, then hey, we can focus on the real champion. The real guy that beat Klitschko first. What, and, and, and damn near gave you the confidence to step up and face a once beaten. Not a once beaten, but, um, you know, a Klitschko coming off a loss. And at the end of the day, um, Deontay Wilder is definitely up to the task. You know, just check out the interview he had with Brendan Schaub uh, that was taped on Thursday. But it, 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 it debuted, it aired last night. And basically, Deontay Wilder said, you know what? There's some, so there's another fight that's out there that they're working on already. And Brendan Schaub jokingly said, oh, is it rhyme with Burry? You know, and, and, and Wilder just breaks out laughing. He just, he just broke out laughing and he didn't really address that, that sort of uh, hinted joke there. And that leads me to believe that Tyson Fury could be in the works. Um, he also brought up Dominic Brazil. Deontay Wilder did not speak on Dominic Brazil. He, he didn't have any words for Dominic Brazil. So, I'm not too sure if that is, is a legitimate option. I think it could be, but I think that's just a last resort. Like, Dominic Brazil, this, this is how mandatories get treated, guys. Y'all don't remember Deontay Wilder pushing to fight Luis Ortiz when uh, that Bermain Stavern mandatory had was coming up. Now, one little thing I see with Deontay Wilder is he, he's not the kind of cat to fight these mandatories um, and just get them out of the way. You know, he's the kind of guy that'll go for some of these bigger fights, the Joshuas, the Luis Ortiz, the Tyson Furies. He, he would, I, I, I swear, Deontay Wilder's the kind of guy that would rather get back in the ring with a Luis Ortiz, legitimately call him the number two heavyweight in the world, rather than fight a mandatory in Dominic Brazil, which is a stay busy fight at best. You know, and it's a way to get out, out, out get this mandatory out of the way to clear up uh, the year or so against trying to make the best fights out there. And also on this interview, Deontay Wilder went in on the fact that there's a reason why he didn't fight any unifications. It's because when it came right down to it, ain't no other champions were, were trying to see Deontay Wilder in the ring. Ain't, ain't no... He is, how, how, many other how many times do you hear, oh, Klitschko say, he, oh, he offered Deontay Wilder something, but he turned it down. When was the last time you heard that from any of these cats? Like, honestly, did, did, were any of them in negotiations to fight Deontay Wilder? Not at all. There's a reason why. You can't blame that on Deontay Wilder. Wilder, at the, at the time, um, when did he win that title? He's had 10 defenses, so he's had it for quite some time. Uh, I believe he took that title around 2015, if I'm not mistaken. 2015? Late 2015? 
and you know he 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 held it down. You know, had some fights in Alabama. He had some fights in Alabama. He had some fights in other areas of the U.S. You know, fought the Chris Ariolas, fought fucking um, Spilkas and shit. Knocked them all out. Fucking broke his hand in the clip in the Ariola fight. Kept fighting. Showed no signs of quitting. Have we ever seen Anthony Joshua injured in the ring? You ever see him hurt his hand? I wonder how he would feel. I wonder how he would react if something didn't go his way. I mean, other than getting knocked down in the Klitschko fight. Yeah, and getting up off the mat, coming back, hurting Klitschko with a massive uppercut that just took him out of the fight. Um, Joshua had that one great performance, and it's like, my goodness. All, all these fans look at that like it's the be-all, end-all. Like, this guy's got to be the greatest. He knocked out Clint. Like, yo, why don't you look at Ross Purity's record, guys? T just Google Ross Purity. There's another guy that knocked out Klitschko late. L look at look at how, he, how his boxing career ended up, guys. So, I mean, y'all can't just, just take a look at one fight in a microcosm and be like, oh, this is the next greatest heavyweight, you know, ever. He could beat Wilder. He just didn't want to do it that one time, right? That one time when he got offered $50 million to fight in the U.S., he didn't want to do it that one time, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can forget about that. Anyways, the whole point is Tyson Fury is looking like he wants some smoke. And it seems like Tyson Fury is looking for a big fight. Maybe he got the ring rust off. Maybe he just had to have his shit performance to have something to come back to. And Deontay Wilder, I'll tell you what, Tyson Fury is a tougher fight than an Anthony Joshua. Stylistically, style-wise, it's a, it's a tougher fight. It's not an easier fight. Um, there's just a benefit in the fact that Tyson Fury is, is coming off a layoff. But at the same time, it's supposed to be elite level. He's supposed to be championship level. He's supposed to be still training getting back into shape and who knows how this might go down but um, I hope Deontay Wilder considers Tyson Fury as a legitimate option and I hope there's some negotiations that come out of it man he can fight news more on this and I mean legitimately the hype that would surround a Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight that would just be out of this world like it would be it would be insane, like, knowing the, the, the character of Tyson Fury combined with, like, how Deontay Wilder builds up a fight. That, that shit would be lit. It would be off the chain. It would, it would definitely top a Anthony Joshua versus uh, Alexander Povetkin. Wherever that showdown's going down, I I believe that will go down in the UK. I, I don't know if uh, that fight has truly been finalized. Eddie Hearn said it was nearly finalized damn near three weeks ago, so um or at least two weeks ago he said something about you know we're nearly finished with the Pavekin fight. Uh, that fight's pretty much done. Whatever that means, uh, you know I assume they they they've agreed to fight in the UK. Eddie Hearn uh, has slipped that out in certain interviews. So, a lot of people bring up Russia as an option. I don't know if that's an option. So, you guys let me know what you think. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. I think that's a great fight. It's a fight that should happen. And if Tyson Fury is willing to step up, if Deontay Wilder is willing to step up, they can make that happen. And they can make Anthony Joshua look like the B-side. So, you guys let me know what you think. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, uh, let me know what you guys think, man. Comment section below. That's all I got for this one, man. E-King Fight News. And we're out.